Hey there wonderful people, my name is Nastasia Thomas and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is Daytime Makeup Glam and this is the end result that I got. Information on this hair will be listed in the description box down below. If you like this tutorial guys please give it a thumbs up if you like it guys please share and also don't be afraid to leave a comment in the comment section down below okay guys so if you're interested in seeing how I got this look just keep on watching we're gonna start off by moisturizing and I'm using the Aveeno positively radiant daily moisturizer to prime i'm using the hydrate maybelline new york master prime by face studio is very important for you to color correct during the daytime and I'm using the Maybelline New York color correcting pen in order to do so I just put it on my spots and underneath my eyes where I have the dark circles So to prevent myself from looking orange, I went in with LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and I'm going to put that everywhere that I put the color correcting um, pen and then I'm going to use my beauty blender and blend that out. I am just realizing that I'm using a lot of Maybelline products in my video. <laughs> so I'm going in with my Maybelline Superstay Foundation in Coconut. That's 355. So you can definitely skip this step by going in with a powder, a lighter powder underneath the eye rather than going in with a liquid. I choose to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn because I, 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 that's what I prefer. But you can just go in with your powder, with your, um, your Sasha Buttercup or a lighter powder to lighten the under eye and the T, the T zone.
normally I would go in with a powder contour but today I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Mahogany. I'm going to put it on my nose, my cheekbones and my jawline and use my beauty blender to blend that all out. So you could skip the concealing stage and just come straight to this stage and I'm using the Sasha Buttercup and I'm outlining my underneath my jawline and I'm going to put it on my nose, on my chin, my forehead and underneath my eyes. I'm going to use a powder contour, I'm going to use the Smashbox contour palette and I'm going to go in for the terracotta bronze. I'm going to put that everywhere that I contour. Did my eyebrows off camera so please check the description box down below for the link to my eyebrow tutorial. Okay, so I'm using the Sephora Micro Smoothing Powder to brush away the Sasha Buttercup powder that I left on my face to bake. So I'm going to highlight the eye points in my face using the Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio in gold. And to set my face, I'm using the NYX Professional Makeup Matte Finish Setting Spray. For a base for my eyeshadows, I went in with Fawn from LA Girl Pro Concealer and then I'm going to set that all in place with the Sasha Buttercup just to prevent any creasing that may occur. The palette that I'm using is the Morphe 3502 palette and I'm going in with So Warm. And for my lid color, I'm going to go in with Zodiac. I'm going to apply Pure in my tear dots and also in the center of my eyelid and underneath my brows. And of course, the mascara that I'm using is the Maybelline New York Lash Sensation. And for lashes, these are the lashes that I decided to go with. It's not too thick, it's just, it's more like a natural looking lash. So that's what I'm going to do and to apply it, I use the duo glue. So while the lash glue get tacky for the other eye, I went in with So Warm from the same palette for my lower lid. I use 
used that dark brown eyeliner pencil to line my lips and then I just use a glossy lip gloss to put on my lips to get a natural look because of course it's the daytime you don't want anything too colorful and things like that so that's the lip look that I decided to go with very simple very subtle to set everything in place I went in with my Mac fix plus and then of course I pat it in with my beauty blender and that guys will complete the look If you enjoyed this daytime makeup tutorial, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to share this video. Don't be afraid to leave a comment in the comment section down below. And most importantly, please press that subscribe button. You guys can also check me out on my Facebook and Instagram. The link to those pages will be listed in the description box down below as well as all the products used in this tutorial and the link to my wig video this is a wig that i did a transformational video on it was a long wig and i decided to cut it in a blunt bob Thank you all so very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.